Welcome to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we get to beat up on Erica. Aren't you excited? I'm super duper excited. Anyway, before we get into this, take a look at the Pokemon, show you what we're gonna lead with, and yada yada yada. We got Stella here with Quiet Nature, yada yada yada, keen eye, so it ain't gonna miss. Well, shouldn't have any accuracy issues. Shouldn't. Um, attack. Decent, speed, decent. We're gonna lead with this and lean on Stella the whole damn time. Because honestly, we ain't got much else. Um, that's pretty much it. This isn't Gen 6, so Volcano wouldn't be all that super great to go in there and fuck shit up with. Um, Chode, I decided not to go ahead and train him off screen. I'm gonna switch train him here a little bit while we're doing this. Um,. Mostly because he gets spark at like 21, and I'm pretty much just gonna like roll into the um, Team Rocket hideout after this, I believe, and then we'll just hopefully he'll have spark by then. If not, maybe I'll go le lo uh, le level him up. Fuck, I could I about to say fucking load him up? What the fuck am I talking about? Level him up to 21 so that he has spark, and we'll just probably roll in there and use him to nuke the shit out of all the zoo bats and stuff out there. Because I'm probably sure they're going to have some. And other than Dirt Machine there, that's pretty much all we're going to have to really combat them at all. But anyway, let's get into this right here. Um, and the cats are fucking with shit. Anyway. Only really are really letting gyms. Um, Erica is probably not going to be that tough. Um, being as overleveled as we are and having... Um, Stella as high level as she is right now, we're probably going to be pretty much rolling into shit. And just, you know, as long as we don't get sleep powdered, you know, that'd be great. Um, yeah, um, unfortunately, I don't know, in my opinion, you know, Erica is one of the weaker ones, one of the weaker gym leaders, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, whatever. Anyway, I am literally just gonna like swap out Chode here back and forth the whole damn time. But anyway, um, it's kind of disappointing because I, I don't know. I should tell you the way I feel about the gyms in the game. Um, as I've said many a times before, I'm a sports guy, and calling this a Pokemon League isn't all that great in my opinion. I mean, I understand, you know, beating up on the gym leaders and um, you know earning your stripes so to speak so that you can challenge in a Pokemon League but honestly it's I don't know I mean it's not really much of a challenge in my opinion sometimes um, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know I just think that you know gym leaders should be a little bit tougher than they are I know you got all those other hacks like the Driano hacks which we will play by the way um, out there that are pretty good and are pretty tough I mean we all know about um, Fucking, what's her name and her goddamn uh, Whitney? That's her name. We all know about Whitney and her and her mill tank. I mean, we all, you know, and, and that's a challenge. And I, and I, my opinion, that's the way that should be. It's a fucking dog over there making all sorts of fucking noise. Um, and that's the way it should be. I, I like that. I like that challenge. I like the fact that you know a gym leader instills fear in you. But that's just that's just me. I like that sort of shit. I like a challenge. I like a game to make me feel not very confident. Hence why I like Fear, which I'm planning on recording a shit ton more of tonight. But anyway, that's that's not here nor there. I'll explain on that when I start doing that. But, um, yeah. I mean, I wish they'd actually make these guys. Like, eh, it's weird. Yeah, I've said this before. The way we really, you know, we all kind of play the game and, you know, plan on fighting the Elite Four with the team that we have. That's usually what we, well at least that's what I, I don't know about everyone else, but that's what I plan on. Like when I build a team at the beginning of the game, I look at, is this a team that's going to knock off the Elite Four? Because the Elite Four is a decent challenge. I just was, all them fuckers were gym leaders, because leading up to that, you know, it's kind of like, man, whatever, you know, just beat the shit out of them and, and call it good and, and whatnot. And it's like, like, uh, fucking, oh god, what's his name? Like Brock. You know, it, it's just, I don't know. The only way to have troubles with Brock is picking Charmander. Which is a shame, because I think Brock is one of the better gym leaders. Well, 
cooler gym leaders in the game. I wouldn't say better, is, uh, you know. He's not really that great. He's a slow level and all that shit. He's not really a gym leader for very long in the show and the lore and all that, you know, bullshit. But anyway. And that's something that I wish they would do a little bit more of, make it a little bit more challenging. I understand that this game, you know, really does a great job of reaching to a wide range of ages. I mean, you know, 10-year-olds can play this just as somebody my age can. You know, I mean, it, that's what's that's what's making Pokemon popular on YouTube is the fact that people that are older now that play these games when they're a kid, you know, have figured out the fucking internet and, you know, play this and all sorts of shit. But anyhow... You know, that's that's uh that's how I feel about it. What I'd really like to see is I mean this is I can go in way more depth into this if I ever do a video about it. But I'd have to make all sorts of fancy graphics and shit to keep me entertained and that's a lot of work that I don't wanna do. So I'll just tell you now. I would like to see like a a, a league where you play for points, you know, let's say you roll in there with six Pokemon you have, you know, if you, uh, if you finish the battle with four or more Pokemon alive, you get a full three points. You could do, uh, it's, you do this a lot like, use the point system that, like, soccer and all that shit uses, real sports use, anyway, so just wins and losses and shit like that. Um, you get three points if you got four or more Pokemon alive at the end of it, and if you don't finish the fight with, well, if you do finish the fight with three or fewer, you would um, you would only get one point. It'd be considered a draw. Now, obviously, if you were to still win the match, oh goddamn, I'm going like the wrong fucking way, aren't I? If you were to still win the match, then you'd still uh, I should just use the poison stuff and all that shit that I have with me, shouldn't I? Um, where is it? There it is. Um, then, of course, if you go on to win the match, you know, say you have two Pokemon left and the other person has zero, you know, you'd still get one point, both of you would get one point, and, um, you get, you know, like a tiebreaker point or something like that, since there's no real tiebreakers, or you could just add up the number of Pokemon, you know, that you have left, you know what I'm saying? It makes, makes sense if you did it that way, because you could just use that, that as your tiebreaker. Now, obviously, if you continue to, you know, win matches with Pokemon left and, you know, lots of Pokemon, then it would have more points, more tiebreaker points. And, of course, if you finish the, the fight with four more alive, then you'd get the full three points and, you know, and the standings and all that shit. And it actually matter. Because, I, ooh, I say this because, you know, Pokemon is kind of... Like, I don't like the run-and-gun approach. I mean, I know I've been doing it pretty much here, but, I mean, honestly, this isn't really much of a challenge. I mean, when it gets challenging, you want to... I try to keep my Pokemon alive as best as I can. I mean, I'll take risks and have one take take the fall for the team, but, you know, haha, fuck you, Bellsprat. But, I mean, that's just, that's just the way I prefer to play, and that's the way I understand Pokemon, is that you should value the, you know, trying to keep your Pokemon alive and you know I know people just kind of go out there and just kind of run and gun and just you know as long as one Pokemon's alive which is a perfectly fine strategy and all that good shit but you know that's just that's just not quite my thing I think the whole Pokemon universe is kind of built around keeping your Pokemon alive I mean why else would they have potions and shit like that right I mean come on it just makes sense to have, you know, something like that. I know they've kind of tried, like, having a Pokemon League thing, like, with the tournament stuff that they did in, like, Gen 5, and I think... Was it Gen 4 had something like that, too, with the Battle Frontier? Which is pretty cool, but... I mean, I wish they'd make that shit more prevalent in the game and have you get more out of it other than just... Shit at the end of the game that you don't really need anymore. But... That's just... That's just the way I feel about it, because, you know, I like that sort of competition. And they also did it with sort of, sort of, they did it sort of like with the Battle Mason thing, but I mean, like, I'm not really into just, oh, let's just battle it, like, as many fucking people as I can until I lose and then get points for it. I mean, that just, to me, that's just like, I don't know, it's just needless battling. 
But, I mean, I'm also the type of person, now, and the reason why I kind of talk about this, and this is a thing that kind of is a thing to me, if that makes any sense, is because I absolutely love Blitzball. If you've played Final Fantasy X, you've had to play Blitzball, at least at some point in the game. Not just to get Waka's fucking thing powered up. But anyway, I love that shit, and the way that little mini game is built is exactly the way I would build a game into this. Like a little season thing. And then it'd be something, like I said, that would be a challenge. I mean, you could even do separate tiers, you know, where you start off in the lower tiers. You know, and if you get good, you get promoted up to other tier. And if you suck ass in a season, you get demoted. You know, you get relegated to the bottom, you know, following tier and shit like that. You could do some really cool stuff with it and make it something that's really interesting. Instead of just, like, the playoff round shit, which I don't really get into a whole lot. I mean, I know... I know a lot of people, a lot of Americans would probably, you know, side towards that because that's what we've already had to play in, in the competitive shit anyhow, is just, you know, single elimination and shit like that. You know, knockout rounds and blah 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 blah. Which, I'm not, just not really into playoff rounds, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, instead of like a one and gun type of thing and you get hot and win three or four matches that happen to go your way, I mean, I... I just like seeing longevity. I mean, it's a marathon, not a sprint kind of thing, you know? But that's just me. It's just the way I am. But, I mean, a lot of that has to do with how much I like football and stuff. I mean, it's not like it's just... Fuck. Now they get finally hit with my goddamn stun spawn. Ah, <sighs> should I do something about that or no? And of course you're paralyzed and you're not gonna move. That's just fantastic. Just fucking great. This is gonna be a long episode. Mostly because I've been talking and taking my time and trying not to just rush through this shit. And if fucking Stella would get off her ass and quit being paralyzed, thank you, dear. Then we'd be, you know, just kicking ass and taking that. And that's also one of the things I kinda wanted to do in this episode, not only just leveling Cho, which you know, it's, it's taking longer, and, you know, I, I apologize for how long this has taken, but, and for me rambling on, but, you know, it needs to happen, he needs to get some levels, and it helps split the, the experience out of Stella, or from Stella, so that she doesn't get quite, quite too over level. Um, not quite sure where the XP share is, I need to go look that up, that's one of those things that I, unless it's, like, blatantly given to you, I don't know why, but I usually miss shit like that. Like, I'll fucking find all some some fucking hard-ass Pokeball with a fucking X-Attack in it shit in the goddamn corner of a fucking mountain, but I won't find a goddamn XP share or the guy you're supposed to talk to to get it. That's the goddamn dog making all sorts of fucking noise over there. She can't sit the fuck down in the goddamn... on the goddamn couch. In the goddamn couch? On the goddamn couch. Ooh. What's great is, like, I mean, look, fucking Stella's going out there and basically, basically taking the first team, first team, god damn, I cannot speak to you. the first turn, the first turn, basically taking the first turn off, because of the switch in and all that shit, and getting shit kicked out of her, and still maintaining, you know, pretty good stuff. Of course, they're trying to set up like crazy right now, and... You know, then they're gonna power up with growth and stuff, but they're not gonna fucking hit her with nothing. I mean, this is also, once again, one of the things that kind of irritates me. It's like, you know... It, it, even though... Even though I'm paralyzed and I, they're getting all these extra turns in on me before I finally fit, fucking hit with a wing attack. I mean, it's not doing much for damage to me, and... Honestly, I may just... I don't even think I'll go back and... Ooh, a Gloom. Gloom. That'll give Cho some experience. Of course, the Weeping Bell gave decent experience, too. I want to say he evolves in the 20s as well. I think. I think. Which, we have a lot of, like, things that evolve in the 20s and early 30s, but not a whole lot evolved super late in Gen 1. I think, like, Dragonite was probably the worst. I mean, even, like, Omanite and, and Kabuto and stuff evolved at 30. I think it was 30. 
so like when you get them at 20 or 25 it's really not that bad which I'm still holding out for that for that almost star layer still holding out that's gonna be a long time to level that fucker up too oh, come on Two little eyes. he's so pissed isn't that cute he's so angry so fucking angry But anyhow, no, oh, finally you hit me with something that's gonna fucking hurt me instead of trying to set up with fucking sleep and poison powder and goddamn sweet scent. I don't even know, I don't even know what sweet scent does anymore, shit. Oh, he's gonna hit me with the razor relief. That really hurt, buddy. Oh, with this, with this leech seed going on, this is actually gonna, actually gonna hurt me a little bit. Cause he's wearing me down. Come on now. There we go. I wonder if I got any full heals. I don't think so. I don't think I get that shit this early in the game. But anyway. Chose level 20. See? Got fucking Chode level 20. And this should be the last last person before before Erica. Let's hit the bag up and let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. For Liz heal. Perfect. Yep. You can put it on its face. Good job. Uh, super potion, and we're probably gonna be able to go. Might have to actually pop a few. I don't know how bad she's gonna be, but she shouldn't be that bad. Shouldn't. Shouldn't be that bad. I don't expect to have a hard time with Erica at all. I mean, she's a uh, yeah, victory bell. This could put her hurting, but that's only if it's got something that would hit a flying type with any sort of effectiveness, which I don't think it does. I mean, in all honesty. And that's the thing that people like so much about all the Dreano shit, is like he actually put Pokemon in there to counter to counter the, the type, well, the main type's weakness. And this isn't going to fucking carry on, I didn't think so. Counter what the guy, what your uh, 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 to counter the gym leaders. Oh, you bitch! You bitch! God damn, that actually did a lot. Holy shit! That's a lot more than I thought it'd do. We can actually get in this swing attack here. We can. Yay! Bye bye, victory bell. See, and that's why I like hanging on. That's why I like hanging on to shit like quick attack because. The amount of damage that it did, it prevented her from just potion pumping that fucker. Which a lot of people would just go in there and hit with their strongest move and be like, oh, hope it kills, and then it doesn't, and they pop a potion, and they get all pissed off and shit like that. You know, if you heat lead with something small like a quick attack, something that'll take a quarter or maybe even a third if you're lucky, like we did there, of its health out, then it can, you know, swap into the. or swap in, and then you can fucking hit with the wing attack, whatever super effective, and then just fucking shit up. And then there you go, it ain't gonna ever use a potion against you. It's all about how you use your tactics, see? All about that. Because the computer, unfortunately, oh, ingrain. Oh, that's nice of you. That's nice of you. I like that move, actually. Ingrain, I've never had a Pokemon that made use of it, though. However, however, when we get up to, like, Gen 6, or Gen 5, even, I may try to use me a fucking, um, Whatever it's called. Uh, oh my god, what's that little bastard? Fair seed, there we go, fair seed. Because I like, I mean, I love its typing fire, or fire. God damn, I'm just all over the fucking place today. I love its typing. Grass and steel is awesome. I love that, it's a pairing of a couple of my favorite types. I never had a chance to use it. I love its stat distribution. Haha, <laughs> fucker. See, holding on to paralyze isn't so bad. As long as we can. Uh oh, I'm gonna hit with assassin. That might... Oh. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We got, we got potions. We can potion for days here. Actually, you know what? I should follow my own strategy here and go ahead and go with the quick attack. Hope we can get that in real quick. You're paralyzed. Of course you are. Of course you're paralyzed. Still paralyzed. 
you ever play this game and ever think that that shit procs way too much on you than it ever does on them? I do. Do I have a hyper potion or just supers? Or just supers? Hmm. There we go, yeah, let's use this fucker up. Right about now, that bastard's going, oh shit! Pulling one out of Erica's fucking playbook there, aren't I? Alright, let's wing attack this bitch. Can I hit? Can I hit? Can I hit? See, I think that we, that acid is the only thing that it's got that isn't. That's not ineffective against flying type. Look at that, Cho grew to level 20, and he should learn Spark. Sure, there we go. We want Spark. Spark, Spark, Spark. Spark, 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 Spark. Let's get rid of Tackle. You are not very really strong, good sir. And you are going to spark the shit out of things. See, look at that. Everything kind of worked out. Although this is fucking episode is like 20 plus minutes long now, and I'm sorry, because I'm trying not to do this shit anymore. I didn't quite realize there are as many trainers in here. I thought there were only a couple of them. Level, what's the level 50? Team 19. What's Team 19? Please tell me. Giga Drain. Ooh, too bad I don't have a Pokemon that would really make use of that. Anyway, that's it for this episode. If you've made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks for watching, and pants are optional.